Hey guys, welcome to my 10,000 subscriber video. Before I begin, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to me so that this could happen. I wouldn't be here without you guys. You have my most sincere gratitude. And what better way to show you this gratitude than to answer your questions, hmm? I know you've been waiting for this, and so have I, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is go down the list of the top comments and pick a few to answer. I'm going to keep each answer short, that way I can read and respond to more. If your comment doesn't get answered here, then too bad! <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. I just can't get to that many comments. Why is the Earth flat? I don't know, but it seems that there's a positive correlation between the flatness of the Earth and human stupidity. What is your opinion on other science conspiracy theories besides the flat Earth, like global warming climate change deniers? That would depend on what kind of conspiracy theory it is. Like, for example, there's one where people think that space lizards invaded our Earth or some shit. For those, I can only laugh it off. Even the flat Earth I can't take completely seriously. But for climate change, that really can make me angry. Climate change is a real problem that needs to be dealt with, so when I see people like Steven Crowder twist data and scientific results to deny climate change and presenting it to his hundreds of thousands of viewers, that grinds my gears. How did you lose so much weight in your body, but your head stayed the same size? And how do you eat with no mouth? You see, us stick figures are a special species. We don't need to eat because we're too fucking awesome. And we have big heads because where else are you going to store that massive brain? But I don't think I lost any weight. You're delusional. Unlike me, obviously. At what age did you convert from theism to atheism, and what caused this? There wasn't really a point where I converted, it was an extremely gradual process. But I'd say the final stone was placed like, four years ago, whenever that Ken Ham Bill Nye debate took place. Before that, I didn't really care about religion at all, and that debate got me interested in the topic where I watched more YouTube videos and more until I actively called myself an atheist. How many flat earthers does it take to get to the center of the earth? The world may never know! Who is your waifu? Hey, watch it there! I'm not a fucking weeb like you! How do you pee as a stick person? You don't, you fucking lesbianist, legless soccer mom in the east. What made you start this channel? Well, you see, it all began when I was a teaching assistant in a biology class. It was really fun, and so when the class ended, I felt empty inside. So logically, I went online and started doing some online tutoring. I did that for a few months, and then the site I was using kinda dicked me over, so I stopped doing that and was like, meh, let's try out some YouTube. Are your parents religious? Yes, but they're pretty good at keeping it to themselves. What is your opinion on other conscious beings living throughout our universe? Also, do you believe in any ancient alien theories? If so, which one? Hmm, conscious beings. You see, that can be difficult since we're not really sure on what consciousness is exactly. I believe it's likely to just be a product of intelligence, but who knows for sure. In that case, then yeah, there probably are conscious beings somewhere else in the universe. I don't believe in any ancient alien theories though. Was math invented or discovered? In my opinion, it really depends on how you define math. If you define math as the language that humans came up with to understand the universe, then it was invented. If you define math as the reality of the universe itself and its patterns that us humans try to understand, then it was discovered. What is your opinion on CNN? As long as they're not Fox News, anything's better than Fox News. I have two questions. Two questions? Outrageous! Who do you think you are? You only get one. Are there any scientific theories that are not proven, or at least not 100% proven, that you believe? I assume you mean a scientific hypothesis here. In that case, yes there is. Crazy, right? But it's nothing like the multiverse idea or any hypothesis about the origin of the universe. When it comes to biology, there are lots of things we don't know, such as the specific pathways and mechanisms of various proteins or cells. In these cases, we can logically speculate something, but not actually have any proof of it. Here's an example. Before, when we just started looking at metastasis and cancer, there were two leading ideas. One was the seed and soil idea, in which it proposed that cancer cells migrated and grew in new environments that suited their biochemistry. Another idea proposed that cancer cells simply stopped and migrated at the first capillary where they got stuck at. Now upon hearing these two, they can both make logical sense. One could believe one of the ideas to be true over the other without having 100% proof of it just based on what they felt was right, as long as this idea was logical to believe and match current observations. Of course though, you wouldn't say it's fact until it's proven. Where are your genitalia? How do you have sex? Aw oh, man, do you have to ask me that question? Can't you just ask your sister? How does your body support the weight of your head? Shit, I'm being exposed. If you had to choose one, who was the most logical and illogical person you debunked? Wow, that's a tough one. They're all pretty illogical, but let's see. Most logical person is gonna have to be, uh, I guess, Bible Flockbox. And the most illogical is gonna have to be, hands down, Jurassic Liars. What religion do you find the most fascinating? Stickism, obviously. Lol, no, but for real, probably Taoism. What is your favorite subject? Biology. Specifically, biochemistry or physiology. How did you come up with the idea of making YouTube videos? 
Honestly, I just decided to try for fun. I had some film experience and I was really interested in filmmaking. At the time when I started my channel, I was just really bored, honestly. And then YouTube made me not bored, so that's good. But yeah, I just saw too much bullshit on the internet and I couldn't hold still. Can you teach me how to deal with an open wound if I'm far away from a hospital? I'm sure that would depend on how bad the wound is, but in general, I would wash the wound if possible to prevent infection, then apply pressure on it to prevent blood loss while wrapping it with a sterile bandage. Whoa, 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 asking two questions, are we? Getting greedy, I see. Ah, uh, well, your first question is short, so I'll answer both. Do you think CNN is fake news? No, I don't think so. That's a bit extreme. I don't believe in a god, but my friend does. I ask her why, and she says she just feels like there's someone or something telling her to do something and guiding her. Is it a placebo effect, or is she just mad? I'm so curious about why she feels like there's a god, even though there's literally no proof. Can faith just make people go mad? Yeah, religion can make people become very, very unreasonable. People tell all sorts of stories, saying they've met God and whatnot. And from a scientific point of view, anecdotes are useless. But let's think about what these people actually experienced. My speculation is that their own minds exaggerated the situation. In your friend's case, I'd say that her feeling like she's being guided was simply just her intuition. And she believes that her tendency towards doing something is a guide from God. It's crazy, but it makes sense once you know that religion makes people start from the conclusion and work backwards on the evidence. Congrats on 10k subs. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, I was wondering about some hypothetical stuff, such as the max population Earth could support, as well as an opinion on how soon we will have to worry about a situation where so many species become extinct it causes an environmental crash. Max population Earth could support, I have no idea about that, lol, but you humans better make some room for stick figures. As for your second question, I think we should already be worrying about it. Our environment is pretty fucked up and a lot of species that are dying off play crucial roles in our ecosystems. Bees are a great example of this. What other bizarre global conspiracies do you oppose the most? Crystal healing. Oh, and also man-made climate change denial. What is your estimate of the percent of flat earthers who are trolls and sincere? Um, out of the ones I've seen, I'm gonna have to say maybe 90% of them are sincere. Which means yes, I do believe that there are that many stupid people out there. Okay, so you can have dinner with three people, living or dead or even fictional, who do you pick and why? Difficult question. You actually made me think a bit. Um, these are gonna be people you guys probably aren't interested in, so I'll just go through the list quickly. Dashy from Dashy Games, because he's funny as hell. Dr. House from House MD to talk about medicine. And Caesar from Planet of the Apes, because why the fuck not? What is your motivation for watching YouTube cringe videos of uneducated people and making videos debunking them? Well, I like to think that I'm making the internet a better place and to educate people. But let's be honest, I'm here for them views. What is your hope for the future of atheism and theism? Well, honestly, I hope everyone becomes atheist, but I know that's not going to happen for a long, long time. Congrats on 10k, sending love from Kansas where the Christians and pro-lifers run rampant. Thank you, and good luck with everything there. Just eat the barbecue, that'll distract you long enough. When will you do a face reveal? Like if you agree. I believe Hayden has answered your question already. Is the earth in the shape of a dildo? No, you sick fuck! How did your head get so big? So when I was a kid, I was jumping on my bed and accidentally fell over where I hit my head. It swelled like crazy and now here I am. If you were to make one single improvement to the human body, what would it be? I would make the immune system not be so retarded as to attack our own cells. How good is stick sex? <laughs> wouldn't you want to know? Alright, well that's all the top questions I'm getting to today, but I also saw some questions from other fellow YouTubers. I'll take the time to answer those. What is your opinion on the ethics of veganism? I love the concept of veganism. I think that it's a great goal to strive towards. Tons of benefits. However, as for the vegan community on YouTube, I'm not exactly a fan. One, they're too aggressive, which ends up pushing more people away, and two, they paint veganism way too perfect. I like the unnatural vegan because she's very realistic. While other YouTubers go on and on about how great and flawless veganism is, she actually acknowledges that people can run into problems, and that's what everyone should do. As I said, veganism is great, but if you pretend that it's going to solve all your life problems, then that's just false marketing. Why do evolutionists A. not believe in God, and B. believe that life was created by accident from nothing? Only joking, haha. <laughs> you sure got me there. My question. Peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? Crunchy. If you eat smooth peanut butter, I will end you. Can I have a cookie? No, of course not. How dare you ask such a silly question. Just kidding, of course you can, but only if you animate it yourself. And that's all we have for today. Sorry that I couldn't get to everyone's questions, but don't worry, this won't be the only time I'll be doing this. Maybe I'll do it again for my next milestone, at like 10 million subs or something. It'll be great. And with that, I'm out. Time to go work on my next video, so stay tuned for that.
Bye.